Hey guys, this is Eric Weingartner with Weingartner Racing. Have you ever wondered, do angle plug heads flow more than straight plug heads? Well, in this video, we're gonna answer that question because I flowed both. For those that don't know, I sell all types of heads. And if you buy any heads from me, I will flow them on the flow bench. So one of the most popular heads I sell is actually some AFR-195s. And I flow every single one. So if you buy one from me, you get a flow sheet, an actual flow sheet from it. So in this case, what happened was one customer had ordered a set of AFR-195 angle plug heads, and another customer had ordered a set of AFR-195 straight plug heads. Now, both of these have the same chamber volume, 65 cc's. Um, these are also the street version, not the race or competition version. Um, there's a, the porting program is different for each one. So they actually have a 195 that's competition. It's got a bigger intake valve. It's a different port design and it does move more air. That's not these. These are the exact same ones, the street port head. They retail for about 2,080 bucks. So that's the head. Now I float them both like this, exact same way on the flow bench, 430 bore, this radius entry plate, and that's a spark plug. It's a projected tip spark plug because most street guys kind of use that, and that's what I flowed with. Head gasket, and everything's in there. So that's what I did, and I flowed them. Here are the results for you guys to kind of look at. So uh, this one right here is the angle plug, and this one's a straight plug. So angle and then straight. It kind of threw me a little bit for a loop because if we look at it, at uh, 100, it's 69 on the angle plug, or 70, might as well call it, versus 62. So the angle plug is quite a bit better there, but even look at two. 150 on the angle plug, 135 on the straight plug. And then at three, 197 to 194, so still the straight plug's worse. At four, 241 to 238, it's not as bad, but still bad. It's not till five, at 500 lift, the angle plug's 270 to a 272. So at that point, the straight plug's beating it. But then look, at 6, 270 to a 267, straight plug still down. And then it's, you see it again, 7, two, this one's reversed. 270 on the angle plug, 273 on the uh, straight plug. And then at 8, 271 to a versus a 272. So for the most part, what we can kind of tell from looking at these numbers, at least on the intake side, we'll get to exhaust in a minute, is that the lower left numbers really hurt. So let's kind of figure out why. This is the straight plug's chamber. If you look, that right here, when the valve's open about 200 thousandths, it's literally right here. So it's making, it's blocking, the spark plug being there is blocking part of the path. And that's why those numbers are down. If we look at the angle plug, you'll notice it's not, it it's not as far this way, it seems like. It's further out of the way. So 200 thousandths, it's kind of this way. It's also pointed this way. So it's at an angle, obviously. So it's out of the way. Hence, it does flow more air. What about the exhaust, though? If you look... Both are the same at one. Um, angle plug slightly ahead by one CFM, which we can call it a wash at two. At three though, the angle plug's 163 to a 157, so it's a little bit better there. And then we look at four, we have 201 to a, a 194. So it's, it's a little bit better again on the angle plug. And it looks like almost the whole way the angle plug is still better by a little bit, even on the exhaust side, which seems kind of weird. But if you think about it, the air is still going to go out the exhaust valve. Having that valve there in the way still hurts it. So same here with this one being the, the angle plug. It's pointed that way. It's less out of the way. It's, it's still somewhat of an intrusion, but nothing like having that. So now I want to also preface this. This angle plug head from AFR is not the same as other manufacturers. So you can't even if you look at this and you're like, well, he did a video on it and the angle plug flows more than straight plug. You really can't compare it on every single make of head because that angle pattern changes per head. And let me kind of show you. So this is the angle plug head. You can, I'm gonna do it from the top side here. That's how far of an angle that plug is. And it looks almost straight, but it's not. It's, it's an angle plug. But let's compare it to my engine in my truck here. That's angled. I mean, th there's no doubt, those are really hard angled. And not only that, sometimes not only do they angle them necessarily like this, they can also move them in the up and down rotation. And that can make it things different. Makes for a wonderful time getting headers to fit. So that's kind of a little bit different deal. 
After watching all this, you're probably thinking, well, that's great and all, but that's just flow numbers. You know what would be great if you just had a dyno numbers to really tell us the difference? I think so too. For those who have been my subscribers and have watched this, you know I have a dyno mule. It's a 406 small block Chevy. Guess what it's got on it? AFR 195 Enforcer heads. What I would love to do, and maybe you guys can help, is to be testing that exact idea. I would love if AFR would send me a set of the AFR 195 street um, angle plug and straight plugs and the AFR 195 competition plug heads because then AFR has, AFR has four different 195cc heads. We get so many different answers. I would know, does angle plug actually make more power, not just flow, but more power than the straight plug? I'd also know if I could get them to send the competition one, does the competition one actually better than the street one by how much? I mean, is it really worth the extra money that they're asking? It's a totally different port design too. And then also, is that enforcer head, does it really compete with these ones that are more expensive than it? Um, maybe you guys can email AFR and say, hey, you know, there's this guy on YouTube, which they already know who I am because they were happy enough to send the enforcers. And they're like, hey, I would love to see you test this. You guys might consider, I don't know. I haven't asked them. And I'm just teasing. You don't have to email them or nothing like that. I do think it'd be a cool test. A really cool test. Um, if I was rich, I would just buy these sets and just throw them on there and see what it does. Like, I wish I had enough subscribers like some that can give away actual cars and stuff. I wish I had that so many subscribers that I could be like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and buy these heads, test them on the dyno so you guys can get, do it, and then give them away. I wish I could do that. I'm just not, I'm not there. But it'd be a cool test to see. Who knows, someday it might happen. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully it gives you something to think about tonight as your wife's talking about something you don't care about. Anyway, I'm just kidding. Uh, remember, guys, I'm no Superman. You guys take care.